Joining us now is SG Tech Chair Wong Wai Ming. Really good to talk to you again. Now, this issue of losing trust in the digital landscape must be a major hurdle for the industry to overcome. How seriously is it impacting the sector, though? It's definitely serious with the rise in cyber crimes, all the online harms that you hear and such. Uh, I would say it's important while we are trying to accelerate technology adoption for the good to transform lives, business, environment and solve all these problems, uh, we have to mitigate against the risk of slow adoption or non-adoption due to a lack of trust itself. And the other area we really need to watch out is really governments really rushing in uh, to solve all the problem and regulate and that may create a fragmentation in terms of standards, policies uh, and regulation itself, which we need to avoid. Do you think that the sector can regain some of the trust that's been lost with a greater emphasis on data privacy? So it's not just about data, it's not just about cybersecurity. Digital trust uh, is about a discipline that cuts across people, governance and technology itself. It's a discipline about data, about cybersecurity, about availability, about process for really you know, ethical and explainable application of technology and much more than that. So are there any so-called golden rules or advice that you might give companies who realize the incredible value of having more data but might unwittingly compromise trust in the process? I would say in our advocacy, just appoint a chief digital trust officer which cuts across the discipline itself. So data is important, it must be viewed as a strategic asset but it's much more than that as we have discussed.